What's up, everybody? You guys already know uh, bicep tendon snapped. I saw the doctor today. We talked about the surgery. We're going to try to get it uh, done next week. The sooner, the better, uh, so that we can actually start healing, recovering, and then uh, put ourselves back into the beautiful sport of boxing. So it's very unfortunate. I apologize to uh, everyone who was really looking forward to this competition, who was in my corner trying to support me. Thank you so much for all the love you guys have been sharing over the past few days. It has been rough. Uh, it's never easy for a competitor to step out of competition, especially when we were two weeks out, five pounds to go, working and rolling hard, man. Uh, I apologize to Zoo. You wanted to punch me, I wanted to punch you. Uh, hopefully in the future, we can still make that happen some way, somehow, baby. But uh, best of luck to the fight. Best of luck to Fendora. Everybody still support and enjoy the show. God bless. What's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxer coming back at y'all with another one, man. So I wanted to speak on the possibility of Keith Thurman returning this year. And who's a possible opponent for Keith Thurman, all right? So first and foremost, man, if you guys don't know, Keith Thurman has had an injury. I think he had a some, some type of muscle tear. Uh, to, to the arm or whatnot that requires him to have surgery as you guys just heard or whatnot and um so I, I want to speak on the I, I want to go ahead and give you guys information on the recovery process and when it when it's possible to see Keith Thurman return to the ring and, and again the possible opponents for Keith Thurman uh to come back and face all right so uh it says surgery for a distal bicep tendon tear repair repairs a tendon that is torn near the elbow the distal bicep tendon connects the bicep muscles to the elbow bone all right it says your arm may be in a splint or an elbow brace for four to six weeks you may also be in a sling for a week or so you may feel tired and have some pain for several days your arm may be swollen but the swelling should go down each look go down a little each day you will need rehab rehabilitation <clears throat> this will start after the splint or brace is removed. Rehab usually lasts for two months. <clears throat> it takes about three to four months for your mu bicep muscle to heal. You may be able to you do easier daily activities in two to three weeks as long as you don't use your injured arm. Most people who work at desk jobs can return in about one or two weeks. If you lift, push, or pull, it may take three to four months longer for you to be able to go back to work how long your recovery takes depend on your injury and how well your rehab goes so basically uh in all, all in all it so like i said it takes about three or four months to heal and um well you'll be in so you'll be in a in a brace for about six four to six weeks or about a month we'll say a month and then it takes two more months uh for you you'll be in rehab for two more months so that's three months um that he'll be gone so what's it what's in march april may june so possibly it looks like either he'll be coming in the second half of the year <coughs> or we probably won't see keith thurman at all and to be honest is that really that much of a surprise not to me now that's definitely gonna be um you know i, I always keep thurman a speedy recovery man because you know it just seems like if it ain't one thing it's another that's why i call keith thurman a derrick rose of boxing no disrespect but it's just it is what it is all right <coughs> both great phenomenal athletes just seems to get injured every so often all right so um you know now i want to go ahead and, and, and address the possible opponents that keith thurman could come back back to fight whether he fight come whether he comes back at 154 which that's what it seemed would you know be more logical for him to come back at 154 or even if he decides to make that cut that seven extra pounds to go down to 147 again where he has made a, a step in his name um or a step in, in the game should i say uh i just want to go ahead and read the possible opponents and of course i would love to hear from you guys let me know what you guys or who you guys would like to see keith thurman come back and uh and fight if you know he does decide to fight all right Hey, so like looking at the rankings in the different organizations at super welterweight and welterweight as far as the WBC goes um, Well, actually if we're gonna go the Tim Zoo route Well, even though this fight wasn't even sanctioned, but anyways um, 
going the Tim Zoo route at 154 pounds. He has Josh Kelly. He has Erickson Lubin, another Florida, uh, Flo you know, fighter from Florida. I um, think that that's uh, that's probably real, more realistic, seeing how both of them are signed with the PBC. Uh, Xander Zayas, that's not really too possible. Uh, to uh, Takeshi anyway, you know, Patrick Texaria, he's I don't I think he's with Golden Boy, but I think that I think that that's a beatable guy. I think uh, Keith Thurman could come back and fight beat him, but I don't know how possible that fight would be. That, that's not a big fight for Golden Boy and PVC to be working together. Uh, Terrell Goucher, who signed with the PVC, that's a, a, a possible comeback for Keith Thurman. I think Keith Thurman could possibly win that fight. Uh, Brian Mendoza, should he lose his fight against Bunchanka? Uh, that's a good, that's a, both fighters with, with PVC, that's a possible fight, right? Uh, Jesus right, Ramos, right? Um, uh, he's, he's ranked in the WB, uh, WBO. That's another fighter that, uh, Oh, that's a, that's a, actually a a, a, a a realistic matchup as well. I mean, I, I, many people thought that he really beat uh, Erickson Lubin. I'm, I'm one of those people, but that's a good matchup right there. You know, Jesus Ramos and Keith Thurman, uh, another fighter signed with the PBC. Those are more realistic uh, realistic matches to be made as far as the WBO. Um, let me see. Uh, as far as the IBF, let me see. You got Jack Kukle, who actually fought... Um, I mean, I don't think that's realistic, but he, Jack Kukle is a pretty good fighter. He fought uh, Demetrius Andre, gave him a tough fight. Jesus Ramos, I just spoke on that. Brian Mendoza, uh, pretty much, you know, the same guys. Um, Erickson Lubin. Um, yeah, pretty much, the, pretty much the same guys as far as the IBF goes, which is vacant. Uh, actually, I forgot who's fighting for the for the for that title. Uh, the WBA, you got Virgil Ortiz. Um, that's not really realistic seeing how uh, <clears throat> Virgil Ortiz is with Golden Boy. Uh, that, that's crazy that they still have Austin Trout ranked at 11. Um, Austin Trout, who I don't even know. Uh, excuse my excuse my background, guys. <clears throat> I don't even know if Austin Trout. Uh, is even signed with the PBC anymore? It's been so long. When was the last time Austin Trout fought, or at least under the PBC? But uh, you know that that Sam Eggington, you know, ah, who did he fight? Did he fight Pauli Malignaggio? I think. But you know, um, and then the 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 WBC, uh, you got Charles Conwell. Charles Conwell is an Olympian. Um. He's, uh, bro, dude has been like, he's been, I think it was a, what, 2016 Olympian and like has not been heard of at all. But like they haven't, like nobody's really heard. Charles Conwell is probably one, like, like one of the only American like Olympians that just kind of went ghost, bro. Like nobody really ever heard of him. Uh, you know, yeah, I, nobody's really heard of him. Uh, since his, you know, since turning pro and whatnot, you know, except for the tragic event that happened with Patrick Day, rest in peace to Patrick Day. Um, but you got Brian Mendoza, you know, again, you have, uh, but the WBC belt is being put on the line against Fundora and Tim Zhu. Uh, you got Jesus Ramos, um, you got Sebastian Fundora. I highly doubt uh, Keith Thurman fights Sebastian Fundora. Uh, you got Erickson Lubin, I talked about him. Um, let me see. Yeah, those are pretty much the mo the most uh, realistic realistic matches being made. I mean, I, d I I I doubt that they put Charles Conwell in there with Keith Thurman, not you know for a non-title belt. Maybe, but I doubt it. <clears throat> um, uh, the Buchanka dude, the dude is like twenty three and one with twenty three knockouts. I feel like uh, it, should he lose. Which I doubt it. I doubt it because he. he but that's that wouldn't even be realistic because uh, if he loses to uh, Brian Mendoza, if he be, if he beats Brian Mendoza, then he'll be uh, in line to fight the winner of Tim Zoo versus um, Sebastian Fedora. So I know that fight is not going to be made. But Jesus Ramos, that's 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 possible. That's actually very possible. And Erickson Lubin, I, I feel like those are the two most possible matchups at at, at, at 154. Um, you know, it, it, you know, if he, yeah, I mean, maybe Terrell Goucher, 
if he looking if he's looking for a tune up, Brandon Cook, that's another one. You know, but those are the most possible matchups, okay? Um at welterweight, you got a lot, man. You got uh Cody Crawley, uh you have um David Avenesian, that, that fight can be made, uh Jamal James, uh Egypt I don't know about Egypt's uh Cavalistic grip me machine. I don't know. Abel Ramos, that would be a good tune up fight for Keith Thurman if he wants to uh come back at 147. Romain Vila, that's who uh got stopped by um by Jerian Ennis, you know, that's another uh, possible matchup. Karen uh, Chunkadaka Bakadaka, that's the guy that fought uh, Jerian Boots Ennis as well and made it to the distance. Actually, I feel like that would be a very good fight for Keith Thurman at, um, at as a tune-up fight, right? You know, you got, um, I, I highly doubt that they might the Conor Ben fight. They got Adrian Broner. That's another possible matchup for a tune-up fight. Should Adrian Broner get past, um, well, no, I forgot. AB is with Don King, so maybe not. I'll, maybe not. Maybe not. That's maybe that's not as possible. But uh, you know, those are still you know uh, good possible matchups for Keith Thurman. Uh, you know, uh, at at welterweight. You know, I, I mostly I see him pop mostly getting a fight with uh, Karen Chudakalakajanga or Roman Vila. Even though they're not with the PBC, they've done business with the PBC. Abel Ramos is very possible. I feel like that. Actually, I feel like that would be very possible if he goes down to 147. Abel, Abel Ramos would be a, a good, good test for Keith Thurman. Uh, maybe Jamal ja Jamal James, uh, David Avenesian. Those are the most possible matchups for Keith Thurman. Actually, David Avenesian was supposed to fight Keith Thurman at one particular time, but um, I don't know what happened with that. But yeah, anyways, those are, those are uh, the most possible matchups. You know, for some reason, that Cody Crowley fight uh, entices me the most. But I, I, I could realistically see Keith Thurman coming back to fight Abel Ramos, uh, who actually is the uncle of Jesus Ramos. Uh, Jesus Ramos being a more dangerous fighter at 154. A lot of people, including myself, thought that he beat Erickson Lubin, like I said before. But that, I think uh, that would be, you know, he's a big guy or whatnot. And I think that would be... A little bit too much on Keith Thurman coming back uh, from an injury, so I could definitely see him against like a Hayes, uh, 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 Abel Ramos type guy, or if he wants to um, fight, you know, at 147. But in, you know, all in all, it just it, even Erickson Lubin would be a tough task for Keith Thurman at this point in his career. You know what I'm saying? Just just being 100 percent honest, uh, I just don't see uh, Keith Thurman being able to compete with a young, hungry guy like Erickson Lubin. But you know, you know, regardless, it is what it is, man. Uh, <coughs> Hopefully we see Keith Thurman back later on this year. Uh, but knowing Keith history, I don't know. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?